The GOP filed its $1 trillion spending bill last night around midnight. It is over 1,200 pages, and they expect us to read and vote on it in short order. Uh, the Republican spending bill is problematic for a number of reasons, but one particularly harsh and egregious provision would effectively bar Cuban Americans from freely visiting their family members on the island of Cuba. This shameful maneuver hurts many of our neighbors and Florida's economy. Tens of thousands of Cuban Americans across America have taken advantage of the easier travel rules in recent years. I know many from our own community who can now visit family or travel to take care of sick, sick relatives without being subjected to bureaucratic red tape or additional costs. In the Tampa Bay area, with the addition of new flights, it has uh, become more convenient to fly out of Tampa International Airport than Miami. Uh, the positive changes in travel policy also have sparked new business across the country. Eighteen U.S. airports, including six in Florida, are now authorized to offer direct flights to Cuba. And there have been new jobs created at Tampa International Airport and travel agencies as thousands have made the trip. And they expect more next year unless the Republican Congress curtails such travel and effectively ends such flights. The ability to visit your grandparents, parents, and family mem members is fundamental. And the GOP plan would simply hurt ordinary families who have no political axe to grind. And it will cost us jobs that we need to get the economy back on track. Our community is going to fight this.